In the beginning of the movie we see a Japanese man wearing a very colorful pajama. Trapped in an empty white room where there is no windows and no doors. When he approached a wall. Suddenly his eyes falls on a weird thing coming out of the wall and his started poking it. And when he pressed its tip. Hundreds of baby angels came out of the wall. And after staying for a second they go back into the wall but they leave behind their little things. Now all their little things are sticking out of the wall and floor. Then the Japanese man sniffs his finger and screams loudly. This phase is called the education. Now the man started crying out for help but no one is there to answer. So he decided to press the various buttons to see what happens. And every time he does, a random object falls out in the room like toothbrush, megaphone, trees and vase etc. He find out, by pressing the same button again, same thing came out of the walls. His amusement is shortly however, when he presses the button next to the chopsticks, a small cart comes out of the wall and hits his leg. He cried out in pain and after that he presses another button. And the button transforms into a butt and the butt passes gas on his face. After some time we see the room is completely covered with different kind of objects, and the man is resting on a chair wearing a weird mask. When he throws a ball at the wall it presses a button and Shushi came out of the wall. He realizes he is hungry and wanted to eat sushi. But the soya sauces is missing. So he asks for a soya sauce to its captors. But as always he gets no answer. So he presses the button that gave him sushi repeatedly. He get a lot of sushi but no soya sauce came out. Giving up, he proceeds to eat the sushi which he think are very delicious. And after he finished eating, he presses the button for more sushi, but this time a bottle of soya sauce comes out from the wall. He get furious and angrily put the bottle out of the way saying, you are late. Then he pressed a different button and got a cool 3D glass. When he puts them on he sees a baby angel pointing at his little thing. The man get happy because he think he may have found the answer. However, after he pressed the button the light offs and countdown starts. After the countdown ends a huge butt come out of the roof wall and farts on the man's face. He screams that it is, smiley. Some hours later, now the man reading volume 5 of a manga that he finds very interesting. But when he presses a button to get the 6th volume, he gets the 7th volume but not 6th. So he tries another buttons but he got 8th and 9th instead of 6th. Then he pressed another button which is an important surprise for him. Cause it opens a section of the wall that hides a door behind it. The man was very excited and happy to discover it. Unfortunately, he forgot which button he has pressed to open the door. He tries a button and an African tribeman come out of the wall and disappeared in another wall. He tries another button, and this time water falls on his head. The next guess turns out to be a lucky guess, and it opens the wall behind him. He rushes towards the exit but it closes before he gets near. He tries another time but the door closes before he reaches there. He understands that, the wall remains open till the button is pressed. So he tried different ideas to keep it pressed. First he goes for a runner position pressing it with his foot, next he hit it with a flyswatter from as far as possible hoping the distance will make a difference in his running time. He also tried pulling it with rope or hitting it with the air sent by a fan. But unfortunately nothing works out. Next he tried to get on the cart and push it after pressing the button. But after a few attempts he understands it won't work out. He needs to find a way to keep the button tip down. So he puts the huge vase on top of the button. But the button stick back up again. So he plans to fill the vase to make it heavier, so he tries to fill it up with water by pressing the button that makes waterfalls. But the water only falls on his head so it didn't work out. Now he made change in plan so he fill the vase with sushi. But it become so heavy, that he was unable to pick it up. And the neck of the vase was also narrow for his hand to go through. So the man used chopsticks to remove sushi, and he removed a bunch of sushi one by one. Once he has removed enough he barely managed pick up the vase. And with some efforts he manages to take the heavy vase closer to the button. But when he looks at the button he realizes. He had forgot the position of the button that opens the wall. He tries a button and the African man comes out. His legs accidentally bumps on the vase causing it to crack and break in half. This drives the man crazy and he started yelling non-stop. Eventually he find the correct button and covered it with sushi, but of course it doesn't work out. 
Then the man tried covering up the button with tape which didn't work. So next he tried as tape with a steel plate. But nothing works. Accidentally the door heats him leaving him in pain and made him more frustrated. He yells out of anger and pain and frustration. After that he takes some rest taking some painkillers. And after he wakes up he wanted to brush his teeth. He had the toothbrush so he searches for a toothpaste but he didn't found it. He pushes a button and a rope comes out from the selling. His mood changes he became excited cows he had a plan. He planned to use the rope to swing towards the exit after pressing the button. It worked but there is a door behind the wall which is locked. So he returns to the room just in the time before it closes, but the door hits him again the pain made him so frustrated and angry and he kicked to the wall. And accidentally presses a button which shows up floating in the middle of the room. Just like the door it also vanishes away when the button perks out again. So now the man have to find a way to keep both, the key in the room and the door open. But the problem is he have forgotten which was the button that revealed the key. He tried a button but a scary barking dog came out of the wall. He tried another one and the same happened again. In the third try he find out the right button. While keeping his eyes and the pointing hand at the button he walks backward and grabs a shusi. He takes the piece of sushi fish back to the wall to mark the right button with it. But he marked the wrong button and the scary dog come out again. Luckily, he find the right button in a second try and mark it with sushi. Now he acts according to his plan, to swing on the rope to reach the different button quickly. But he was unable to swinging that fast and falls on the floor. He sees a plunger he had found by pressing one of the buttons. And gets an idea to solve his little problem. He can use the plunger to touch the wall and push himself farther. At first he failed. But in second try he was able to press the button, grab the key, press the door button and reach at the door by swinging on the rope. When he inserted the key in the door he find a surprise, it also has a separate lock on the top that needs three numbers to open it. He managed to return to the room but once again the door bumped him hard. So he throw the plunger out of the frustration which activated the button that calls a African man. Japanese man noticed that there are three numbers written on the African's forehead. Which must be the combination of the lock. Now the man go through the process of doing the swinging on the rope and jumping deal, three times in a row in order to put the combination on lock. But in third time he stays there and opens the door. He try to push the door to open it but then he realized he have to pull it to open. But it was too late for him. The wall closed and now he is trapped in a little room where he can't open the door. The man is now so depressed and started crying remembering the fun he got in that room. He regretted not being happy on what he had. Suddenly he feels a breeze on his face coming from the left wall. When he pushed the door he find out the exit. And started running out of the room. And he reached at a bridge which was floating on a black area. When he finally made out in a room. His hair has become longer and the color of his pajama has faded. This room is also an empty one but there are adult angels instead of baby angels. Eventually they all disappeared leaving out their small things. This phase is called practice. On the other side, in a city in Mexico we see Antonio and his family. Antonio's father is wrestler named Escargo Man. Her mother and grandfather was worried about his father. Because he is behaving more silently than usual. In the next scene we see Escargo Man is being picked up by her daughter Karen. She drive him to the wrestling ring. Soon after he reached there he started changing his clothes and pray to gods. In Antonio's school, we see Antonio is being bullied by some kids who is telling him that his father Escargo man is a weak loser. Show is going to start and we see Antonio with his grandfather sitting on the last sits. First team that enters in the ring is Northern Tough Ones whose members are Super Demon and Tequila Joe. The Escargo man and his partner Silver Eagle comes in under the team named Kiss Me A Lot. The fight starts with the Silver Eagle and Tequila Joe. Silver Eagle fights brilliantly, but he got down when the Northern Tough Ones fight together instead of a one-on-one. -on -one. Then the Escargo Man comes in the ring to fight. But Escargo Man is quickly overpowered by Tequila Joe. When Tequila Joe was about to hit him with a chair, the man in the mysterious room pressed a button and the Escargo Man's head extended and he managed to knock out both of his opponents by hitting them with his head. But in he room nothing happened so the man keep pressing up the same button in result, Isaker got man knocked out Silver Eagle, referee, 
Antonio and even the bell. Then the men tried different buttons that causes different weird incidents on earth. Like a singer breathing fire from his mouth. A magician's magic trick fails. Dogs barking at their own master. Now instead of pressing the buttons. He used them to climb up because he saw a light coming from above. Every time he presses a button with his head or feet something amazing happens in earth. Like flowers blooms, elephants die and so much different incidents happens in earth. Now his beard has grown and he don't need buttons anymore to climb up. Now he can fly like angels. Next we see he had become a god and began choosing the buttons on purpose instead of pressing randomly to make a rocket fly, create the life, and destroy the life, initiate war, creating disasters and so much more. After some time he is surrounded by feathers. Then he gets into a room through a portal. In that room, continent drawn on wall and there is a huge button. This phase is called future. And the movie ends in a mysterious way. Make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. To stay notified about our new videos. Thanks for watching.